Welcome to the first episode of the Forces Pro demo series on active suspension control. In this video, we will show you how to model the vehicle dynamics and incorporate preview information into active vehicle suspension control. For this problem, we consider a driving vehicle equipped with sensors that measure the unevenness of the road ahead. These measurements will provide an active preview horizon comprised of road height across consecutive time steps. As such, the preview information can be used to improve the riding comfort by actively controlling the vehicle suspension. Note that there are several different types of vehicle suspension control, primarily categorized into passive, semi-active, and active suspension. However, passive suspension systems cannot satisfy the comfort requirements when subjected to different road profiles, unlike semi-active or active suspension systems. We will achieve these comfort requirements by regulating suspension such that the roll, pitch, and heave acceleration of the vehicle are minimized. Note that the roll is the rotation of a vehicle about the longitudinal axis, pitch is the rotation of a vehicle about the transverse axis, and heave is the vehicle's vertical motion. In terms of vehicle dynamics, we will use a full car model reduced to a six-order vehicle model by neglecting wheel dynamics. This will result in the following linear state space with six state variables, four control inputs, and three plant outputs. The state vector is comprised of heave displacement, pitch angle, and roll angle, as well as their first order derivatives, heave velocity, pitch rate, and roll rate. The system input contains four control inputs denoting the active spring displacement at each wheel, and the disturbance comprised of the measurements of the height profile of the upcoming road and its first derivative. Finally, the system outputs are the second order derivatives of the first three states, that is, heave, pitch, and roll acceleration. The disturbance will be modeled as a speed bump, and it will be assumed that it only hits the right side of the car, whereas the left side remains unaffected. The detected speed bump is 1 meter long and 0.1 meter high, and it is anticipated that the vehicle will reach it in 0.8 seconds. The vehicle is assumed to be driving over a speed bump at a constant speed of 5 meters per second. Considering the speed of the vehicle and the length of the speed bump, it will take 0.2 seconds for a single wheel to go over the speed bump. Finally, the same bump will hit the rear right wheel 1.12 seconds after hitting the front wheel. With this, we conclude the modeling part of the active suspension control problem. In the next video, we will discuss the MPC formulation as well as its implementation with Forces Pro QP solvers.